Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I am testing three different link cables to hook up my Quest 2 to my PC for PC VR gaming. And we have this one, which is the official one, a very expensive one, um, around £90 guys. Um, it works with the Quest and the Quest 2. It is a 5 meter long cable. It is uh, USB-C to USB-C. Um, really the interesting feature of this is it does use fiber optics over copper wiring. Uh, for the transmission of data. Could that make a difference? I don't know, but it does make it a very expensive cable for that feature. So alternative ones, which most people are gonna be looking at, is the cheaper ones like this. So these are two different cables, guys. I just don't have the box for that one. So I do understand these are two separate products, and I'll show you that in a moment. But we have here a very typical USB 3.0 to C. So C goes into the headset, the 3.0 goes into your PC. And um, yeah, it's five meters long. It's a cheap cable, you know, very generic, very typical of what you can find on eBay if you just do a search for Oculus link cables. And uh, I paid 15 pounds for this. It's a, yeah, it's a sturdy, nice looking cable. It looks like it does a job. Um, and next we have this one, which is slightly more expensive. It's 20 pounds, uh, but this is a branded one. And you can see it's QJECT. Uh, the USB 3.0 Oculus Quest 2 link cable, although that's a little bit um, misleading because it is actually USB 3.0 and C. As you can see on that side, it is C to C, but it does come with an adapter, and um, it's this adapter. And you can see that will then plug into the end, and it will turn the USB-C cable into 3.0. So what I want to do with testing all these cables, guys, because I'm doing the same thing with this one, in fact, and to convert this to a USB-C cable as well, because I have an appropriate adapter for that as well. So if you look at this, a 3.0 socket on that side and a C on that side, if I can get it to focus. There you go. So that'll just pop onto there. And then we can test it as well. So we can test it as a 3.0 uh, and also a C to C. Okay guys, we have all three cables on my table here. We have the Oculus, the QJet, and the generic one there. And I do have one observation to share with you, uh, but this will also come up in the summary on um, how it made a difference, is the Oculus cable is more flexible than these two cables. So these are about the same, so I don't need to show all of them together, but let me just demonstrate it. What I mean by this is when we twist the cable over, you can just see the stiffness of the cable and how big those twists are. As you twist the cable over, it becomes you know less flexible, it shortens the cable, and you can just see how big that sort of uh, circle shape is. And of course, you know, twist it multiple times, it becomes more of a tangle. So the Oculus one does have an advantage here, um, and it is a lot more flexible, substantially more flexible to be fair. Um, let me just uh, take this off, and we can get a nice big uh, section of cable here and if I twist this around in the same way I can get a lot more twists out of it and it's a lot more flexible uh, with less stiffness to the cable and that does make a difference you can twist it a few times and you still have a decent amount of cable length it doesn't shorten very much and it's still is very easy to work with so that's definitely an advantage now I'll, I'll just show you side by side because this may give you um, a little bit of a, uh, again, I'll just do it the same way. You can just see how that is creating these kind of very big, you know, long twists, which are difficult to, uh, which make it quite stiff. And another look at the Oculus one. Again, you can twist it around several times. And the twists are a lot smaller, more flexible, easier to work with, which is a nice property of the cable. Okay, then let's move on to all my testing. And once I've shown you all that, we'll then move on to a summary and I'll tell you what all those results really mean.
Right then, lots of numbers there. And I thought I'd start off with something very simple just to tell you how they all performed. Um, just as a cable to connect my PC to my headset. And they, it was identical. So basically there's no difference in latency, no difference in picture quality, um, no dropouts. They were all absolutely stable. And I ran tests at 90 and 120 hertz. So absolutely doing the same job. No, no difference at all. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room first because something is strange about these figures. The, what should be the slowest cable, the USB 3.0 cable, you know, the USB 3.0 um, standard is slower than the USB C standard. You know, it's a newer standard, the USB C, and it does have substantially more bandwidth than USB 3.0. Yet in the Oculus software, when I ran the tests, this was showing as 2.5 on the nose gigabits per second. Every time I ran it, 2.5 gigabits per second every, every time. These had a little bit more variation in them. Not much. Um, this was 1.9 top ends, but it kind of the test was showing like 1.8, 1.9, you know, you just ran it and you get that sort of that variability. This one topped out at 1.8 gigabits per second, but it also, when I ran the tests, it was, you know, so occasionally 1.6, but normally 1.7, 1.8. So this one was marginally quicker than that one. And this one is seemingly super fast, which again, doesn't make any sense, but never mind. And also interestingly, when we added the uh, USB-C adapter to this and turned it into a basically USB-C to USB-C, um, then the speed of this cable dropped down to the same sort of speeds of here. I mean, it was the slowest one at 1.6, but you know, new enough. And uh, when we ran, these USB-C cables using the 3.0 plug. Um, uh, they, what was kind of interesting there was they were very much the same. So USB-C or USB 3.0 using these cables, the adapter showed the same sort of result. So it made no difference really, did it? So that's kind of weird. So it does make me think there's something kind of strange going on with the reporting. Um, if you kind of wonder, maybe it's my USB-C um, card, my port on my PC. Um, I'm using two different branded USB-C um, adding cards. Uh, one is a fairly inexpensive inner tech one, like 20 pounds, and I have a, uh, um, the other brand is a StarTech one, which is quite an expensive one, like nearly 50 pounds. Yet they were showing the same results no matter what I did, no matter what, how I did this, ran the test, they're showing the same results. So it does make me think there's something weird going on with the reporting from the software because none of it really makes sense to me. Uh, but I guess it doesn't really matter since, as I said, there's no difference in my experience using these cables. So what we can establish at the very least, all of these cables um, exceed the requirements required to attach your Quest 2 to your PC for smooth, good looking VR gaming. Okay guys, before you move on and think that, well, that's fine, you know, USB 3.0 is gonna do the job, and it will in, in to the most part, but you are not gonna be able to run your Quest 2 uh, for an extended period of time for several, several hours, because USB 3.0, and indeed, actually, this cable, um, isn't able to sustain your Quest 2, so there'll be a slow drain of the battery. So let's say you have a fully charged Quest 2, and a Quest 2 can normally run by itself, standalone for about a couple of hours of gameplay. That's about what you're gonna get, right? When plugged into your PC and you're playing some PC VR gaming, you're gonna get about three hours total of game time because what will happen is it will supply some energy but not enough to sustain it because there'll be just a slow drain on the battery. So you can get like three hours of gameplay. If that's gonna be enough for you, then you're gonna be absolutely fine. So that's where you, that's the limitation of this USB 3.0 cable. Um, when we move on to the USB-C cables and we bring up the chart again, you can see it's pulling a lot more wattage and that's to do with the USB-C standard which is able to um, output up to 15 watts of power, which means these cables are more suitable and USB-C is more suitable. And again, look at the charts. This was running at what, 9.2? watts is able to draw using this cable and this was eight watts so the oculus the you know this cable the official cable is slightly more efficient 
in delivering power than it is this one, you know, 8 to 9.2. So it's only 1.2 difference, but there is actually a reason why this actually still outperforms it because, let me give you this example, guys. If you had 50% um, battery charge on your headset, you plugged it into your PC for VR gaming using either of these cables. The Oculus, the official uh, one, this one here, it will maintain the battery and charge the battery at the same time during gameplay. Uh, so if you had 50% charge, let's say that as an example, it will actually, you can play and it will then charge as well the battery and it will hit like 92% and it sort of stays at that because that's just basically the level it kind of stops at when you're charging and playing. Um, that's just a safeguard for the battery. So it will charge for many, you know, so you're gonna have sustained gameplay and charging out of this. Using the QJet one, if we take the same analogy, 50% charge, what will happen is after 10 hours of gameplay, it will stay at 50% charge. Um, so it doesn't, it's not able to actually add any charge to the battery, but it does maintain it. So with PC VR gaming, it will kind of stay where it's at. Um, so that's kind of the limitation of this cable. I guess that's fair enough because if you don't mind it's not charging, you're going to get just basically, you know, endless amount of gameplay out of this cable over USB. See, so that's actually a good thing. So obviously a minor benefit to this one, but uh, maybe not a minor, you know, maybe not a kind of a major kind of a disadvantage really, um, uh, you know, with this cable. What I will say though, guys, um, that's over 90 Hertz. If you set your Oculus Quest to 120 Hertz, then the Quest 2 is actually running, obviously it's, it's actually doing more work. Um, and I'm talking about PC gaming here. And because um, even though the PC is doing all the leg work, obviously it's still kind of updating the screen more frequently and it does use more power from the from the battery which is really interesting because what I discovered was at 120 Hertz even the, the official this quest the official link cable wasn't able to sustain the battery if there was a slow drain over time and of course this one did the same thing this was a little bit better since it's able to supply more power but um, yeah, there's a marginal difference there, guys. Um, but you're still gonna get hours and hours of gameplay out of it because it is just a very small drop off of battery. So yeah, if you're gonna play for you know 48 hours, then yeah, you can run your battery dry. I don't know what the drop off was, but it's, it's a little bit. So yeah, if you run it at 90 hertz, then you're gonna be absolutely fine with both of these, you know, these cables. 120 hertz, then you're gonna find, yes, it will slightly drain the battery over time, but nothing really to worry about. You know, it's, um, it's not really a problem there. But very interesting test that the fact is, you know, there is more workload at 120 hertz for PC gaming with the Quest 2 as well. And therefore, both these cables aren't able to actually do the job perfectly. But 90 hertz, you can have no problems with either of these cables. Okay, so there you go. That's the results of all my testing. And I guess I would definitely recommend a USB-C to USB-C cable as the USB 3.0 does limit the amount of playtime you're gonna get by running it with PC gaming. So, you know, to, do take that into account if you are just doing some light PC gaming, then I guess it doesn't really matter too much. But if you're doing it, you know, more serious PC gamer with your Quest 2 headset, then you definitely wanna go down the USB-C route so you do get the extra power through to your headset and that makes a difference yeah so and there you go and when it comes down to picking between the really expensive oculus quest uh link cable meta quest uh, link cable the official one compared to this one the qject one or maybe any other usb c to usb c cable get the cheaper cable you know this is three and a half times more expensive than this one it's doing almost as good a job it's not quite as good you know if you've seen the results you can see this outperforms this one by a really wafer thin margin. It's really not really worth spending more money. This would do me just fine. I'm sure this will do anyone just fine as well. So really good, really good uh, cable. Uh, I'm glad I did all these tests guys, because um, yeah, it's something I wanted to find out for myself and you know, these are the results. Uh, one thing I will say, uh, a final note um, about the official link cable is because it is more flexible. It does feel like it's a little bit less stress on the sockets on your headset. So that's something to say, but as long as you're careful with this one, use some Velcro straps and you should be fine. You know, just make sure it's nicely cinched down, you know, around your, around the kind of head strap and you should be just fine. As long as it's well supported, you'll be okay. But uh, certainly this one does feel like it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more flexible. 
does make a bit of a difference. But um, yeah, not enough to justify the cost as long as you're careful with how you attach this to your headset. And there you go. Um, hope you found it useful. Do hit the like, guys, if you did find this useful. As um, you know, I had to spend a lot of time on this video, on the testing and the on my research and on obviously the cost of buying all these cables indeed um, but there you go I wanted to find out for myself and I found out and I'm sharing it with you so that knowledge with you so um, yeah let's end it now guys hope you found it useful drop comments below the video thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting my channel I'll be back soon with something new so until next time take care and bye bye